what it is, man. Detroit versus everybody, man. Detroit, we rep the hardest, man. We gain the hardest. You know what you know what it is, man. Detroit, CJ, I'll let your boy when we get home. Don't forget to check out our sponsor, The Hell Blaze, at TheHellBlaze.com. 100% all natural products from lotions, soaps, foot soaks, bath bombs, and much, much more. Use the promo code GOODFELLA1BOXING. Tell them your boy CJ Goodfella sent you. Get 18% off. We out. All right, man. Let's talk about um, Nervete beating up uh, Christopher Diaz, as expected, man. First, let's talk about Berlanga. Berlanga went to full eight after having, what, 16 straight first-round knockouts. Let's get to it. Let me get situated, which I should have been situated before I came on, came in. But check the fight reaction playlist. Appreciate the love, support, all that good stuff. But um, these socks, I don't like wearing socks in the house. But yeah, I mean, I was impressed with Belanga, man. He answered a lot of questions. Um, the question is, do you take him to ten rounds? And I, I probably was like, no. I'll try, probably tell him. I'll try to get him on as many cards as I can. Uh, we got. June, July, August, September, October, November. So I, I'll probably try to get him at least in four or five more shows. With, you know, if he do good in about two or three eight-rounders, then I'll jump him to ten. But, you know, uh, Desmond, Nichols, Desmond Nicholson for a minute came to win. And then uh, next minute, you know, he, you know, he come to uh come to lose, to be honest. <laughs> you know, I think he came to, uh, I think he came to lose a part of, a part of those fights, man. We just came to survive, and Berlanga had real power. Berlanga took shots. I mean, it was a lot of talks about about Berlanga not being able to take a shot. You got Jesse Hart showing him getting knocked down in the amateurs by a hook, but he answered those questions last night. At least he could take a punch, and Nicholson could punch. But Nicholson came in full survival kit, holding him at the waist, smothering him. You know, he knew little nuances of defense. You know, taking away his power, rolling his power. And for Berlanga, you know, just some improvements, you know, instead of throwing that power jab, shit, pop it, double it, you know, pepper it, you know what I'm saying? But his power jab opened him up and to the point, you know, Nicholson was just more experienced fighter on holding this stuff. And, you know, Berlanga just got to, you know, understand, you know, dude coming like this, hit him underneath. You know what I'm saying? You, you know, sometimes you got to take a step to the side or a half step back or shit, even a full step back, hit him on the, hit him in the ribs. You know what I'm saying? And then, you know, next time you just rip with an uppercut. But Nicholson was doing a lot of this, and Berlanga was allowing him to do that. And then Berlanga, you know, just touch the body or just, you know, power jab or just, you know, regular pop jab, you know, just regular jab, just pop him. He could have, you know, took that away. But he'll, he'll learn from Andre Rozier. Andre Rozier, a great coach, you know, how to how to really do that when somebody come in like this because he can see that lock because he can punch. Hit him underneath. You know what I'm saying? Touch him underneath. I mean, and then also, he got to learn not to come with so many ferocious punches. You know, you see him throw a hard power jab. He stepped with it. It's beautiful. And then he come down. How about, you know, you hit him with the power jab, touch him to the body, touch him to the head, work up and down. He looking for one or two big shots. And that's a product of him knocking somebody out in the first round with 15, 16 times. You know, hit him here, touch him to the body, touch him, shoot shot to the body, boom, boom, boom. Come up top. You know, once he learns to put his punches together, he going to be dangerous and, and mixing his power punches. But Nicholson got to get credit. I mean, he could have checked out a long time ago. He could have quit. Could have quit in the first round, second round. You know, even if he was going to survive a mode, he could have quit. And, you know, for the most part, he was rough, rugged. He knew how to, you know, roll shots. He knew how to tie up. He knew, you know, and Berlanga needed that. Berlanga needed that, you know. He kind of took, what, the sixth or seventh round off. But for him, it's just it was just about being able to put punches together, change speeds, not throw everything, you know, because you got to understand, Going one good power jab and one good right hand behind it. You know, how about you throw the jab, touch, touch to the body, or just shoot shot upstairs. You know, and once he learned to do that, you know, and you know, jab, shoot shot, then makes a hard shot in him, he gonna be the dang, he gonna be dangerous to beat. You know what I'm saying? You see how he stay on top of him and Nicholson game plan was to push him backwards. And to be honest, you know, that didn't work, you know. But it's gonna be some guys that's gonna push Berlanga back. You know, it is that's just the, the fact of the matter. They got to start working on utilizing the ring. You know, you're not going to be able to just, you know, bust everybody, kick every, kick through the front door and walk everybody down. But, you know, in the gym, just work on lateral movement. Work on, you know, just throwing just throwing a regular jab. You know what I'm saying? Everything ain't got to be. You step into the jab and he steps into it. It's beautiful. Show him how to just pop, 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 pop. And once he kind of learns just to change speeds and everything, it's just not a knockout punch. 
You know, once he learned that, he can go 10, 12 rounds. Shit, if they have to, he go 14 or 15 rounds. It's just about you can't throw everything hard. And them young fighters, they throw everything hard. You know, Tony Harris, another motherfucker, throw everything hard. Touch. Jamel just get away with it because, you know, he got great stamina, great chin, durable. But to be honest, um, but to be honest, man, he fight the right guy. Somebody going to take advantage of it. So it's just touch. You know, that's one thing you don't see today. Hagler did he touch, 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 miss higher shots in. But you had some great fighters that, that didn't do that. Michael trying to rip your head off every time. Julian Jackson and Gerald McClendon trying to take your head off every time. But you, Berlanga would be more effective. Just touch, touch, touch. You know, that's what the jab is. Just, you know, if he react, just touch, touch, touch. Get motherfuckers comfortable with his power, then rip his shit. You know, a little bit more body work. But Nicholson was a great gauge. He went eight rounds. And I, I think he, she could have been over at least in four or five. Had he just went to the body, touch, touch, change speeds of his shots. And down the line, when you see upper echelon competition at 68 or wherever you go at 75, or guys moving up, it's going to be about just touching, 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 then land big shots. Then Because he got it. He got power. He ain't like he got to be like Canelo and, and really telegraph his shots to get power. Him more than that. Canelo ain't no fucking puncher. You see Canelo, he got lined up with his shit. That's why Floyd was able to just... To beat him, you know, it was telegraph shit, you know. Floyd was knew what was coming. He can prepare to roll. He can prepare to slip. Or Floyd just popped him, just disrupted his combination with a jab. And that's what Berlanga got to do. Berlanga just got to touch, touch. He got he ain't got to wind up to get power. Just touch, touch, touch. And then when you get him comfortable with shoe shining and touching, and then you rip the hard shots. But some fighters never learn that. Some fighters and some fighters move up in weight, and they just like to throw hard shots, and they find out real quick. If that power, you move up in upper echelon competition, that power mean nothing. You got to touch and move up with skills and head movement. I like to just get, see him get his head off the line a little bit more. His head was in the line. Just, you know, you ain't got to move it. Just step over with your legs. You know, but he, he took some shots, but he getting to that high guard. But I like to see him kind of get his head off the line. But tremendous talent. Legs look good. Punches look good. And Nicholson was a good fighter. So you can't take that nothing against him. At all, man, but I like to see him touch, 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 touch some more, man. Just touch, touch, you know, tap, tap, tap. That's all That's all boxing is. You no, know, you ain't got to look for the home run early. Get get a lot of these fighters comfortable with your power. And you see, that's what Nervete did last night. He able to generate power without sitting down. You know, I don't think he would have went 12. Had he sat down in the shots, he real unorthodox. He real irky-jerky type of fighter, you know. Unorthodox, you know. You seen last night, Diaz was, I'm surprised Diaz lasted that long. He took a tremendous amount of punishment and went through the 12th. Just the shots the angles came from, he couldn't handle it. Diaz just sitting right in front of him, getting pounded. Probably thought the power wasn't that bad. And when Nevada's accuracy, it's just touch, 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 touch. Then he seen, shit, four, six, seven, eight rounds. Accuracy. That's another thing about, if you ain't got great power, you got good power, you just touch a motherfucker in the same spot, you know, nose gonna break, lips gonna bust, it's gonna hurt. He gonna look to get away. So, you know, Nevada's accuracy and just work rate, his ability not to sit down to get shots. Imagine if he sat down to, to generate power. Diaz wouldn't last that long, that long. But that's part of his identity. Loopy shots, feet, feet, you know, them motherfuckers be on his balls, his toes throwing shots. <laughs> no, and the volume, the volume is just you. After a while, you you like this shit don't hurt, but then shit three four rounds hitting you in the same spot, same uppercut, drop Diaz and Diaz just couldn't take it. And like I said before, Diaz moved down to twenty six from thirty. You just ain't that good of a fighter. You know we went through this Puerto Rican. You know we gonna continue to go through this Puerto Rican drought to see who take the torch or the mantle. After Miguel Cotto. And right now it ain't Machado. And it won't never be Machado. It'll never be Christopher Diaz. You know. Diaz just ain't got it. At 30 or 26. And it's climbing. He just ain't got it. And Nervetes is just one of the best pound for pound fighters. When I put him on my pound for pound list. A lot of people. I oh, DJ, you boy. And you know, he ain't there. Tell y'all. Touch, touch, touch. If he ever sit down on his shots, man. He probably got enough power to move up to at least 35. You know, the uppercut is just, just fluent, man. He just accurate, accurate. You know, when he came on the scene, I think he had a loss. And people were trying to write him off versus Dog Belly. Dog Bay, he would touch, touch, touch. 
And, and it wasn't just, it ain't just touch, 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 like what Berlanga should have did. It's touch, 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 touch. <laughs> when he get on your, when he get on your ass, it boop, 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 boop. He's like, God damn, he went like, you know, you get a little boop, 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 and he won't let you breathe. You know, with a guy like him, you got to punch with him. You can't just let him sit there, boop, 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 do all this shit like Diaz and boop, 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 trying to block and slip and hold. Motherfucker like that, he go, you see him, boop, bow, you got to punch in between. That's how you beat a guy like that. He long too, so really Diaz should have got on the inside, took his angles away, got him on, worked his midsection, you know, just stayed in his chest. You know, when they say suck on his tip, suck on his nipple, stay in his chest and not let him breathe, he would have had a better chance to win. But he could, he just say the end of Nervete's punches. And Nervete, boop, 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 boop. <laughs> he like, Jesus, man. And he 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 a bad boy. He a bad and Diaz just Diaz just didn't have the power. And I wouldn't say he got a power, he didn't have a game plan. You know, or he didn't execute, excuse me. He from Philly. I didn't know he was from Philly. I mean he he resided in Philly. He was born in Philly, they say, but they say he's born in uh Puerto Rico here. Who can but he, he got short arms. Nerete's got a 72-inch reach. That's the same reach as Earl Spence. Floyd Mayweather. Diaz had a 64-inch reach. So Diaz, both the same age. Diaz should have been again on the inside. Diaz should have been on the inside. He lost to a dude named Daniel Arcada. And that dude got two losses. Got knocked out one time. Um... You know, but sometimes you got, but this, you know, Nervete's got 34 fights. He turned pro in 12. He got, he almost got 40 fights. That's, that's how you get better. Even if you lose, you know, the fights, it's repetitious. Touch, 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 touch. You no, know, to me, you know, you look at the ratings. Because Kid Gallagher had to end up signing the PBC. I think he probably get a title shot and unify with Gary Russell. You would look at it, Leo Santa Cruz. He ain't no champion down there. They were straight rigging down to quit. I mean, Santa Cruz heart pump Kool Aid. Let's say Galahad get the title, right? Whoever you fight, James Dickinson, Dickens, whatever. The class of this division, it really boiled down to Gary Russell, if he beat Ray Vargas, and the man in the bay thing. And to be honest, man, Gary Russell got to really be on the inside. And it's a dangerous fight because the bay is just real long, but that's the fight I want to see. That's the, the unified, that's the, it should be the unified, undisputed, you know. Or lineal, excuse me, championship fight, but <laughs> but let me know what you guys think. Don't forget me on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, all my links there. Facebook group link there as well too. If you need to reach out and promote your business on the channel, video requests to chop it up. Twitter's the fast way than Facebook and Instagram. All my social media links in the description. Facebook group link there as well too. If you want to make a financial donation? Cash app CJGood313 in the description. PayPal link there as well too. Appreciate the love support. Let me know what you think in the comment section. One time for one time. Peace.